Yeah. Uh, and forgive me if I've asked this before. I think I did, but could you briefly describe again what Docker is? I actually installed it once on my, I think yep. on my on my MIDI to to get channels to run, and you went, yeah, you're doing it wrong, Pete. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I will try. I don't have any notes on this. I yeah. think the last time we did this, I had written notes because it's one of these conversations that can get very convoluted very quickly yeah, i'm just looking for a brief overview is yeah, it like the, a shell I, or a sandbox or a so think of it like a like you would a virtual machine right yeah so if you were going to install a, a virtual machine you know on your uh, you know on your mac let's say to run a different version of mac os it would be its own complete full environment that you would install, you know, Mac OS Ventura into, and then you would install apps to it. And maybe you'd have a folder that's shared between your virtual machine and your non-virtual machine so that you could get stuff in and out. But otherwise it's like its own thing. And it would take up all the space that it needs to take up for a full install of the operating system and all of that good stuff. Right? So Docker is like virtual machines but super lightweight, they are built to be very specific to their task and don't include all of the sort of default operating system stuff. They inherit some from the host operating system. They also, because you're building it to do just like, uh, like this one does one thing. So it doesn't need all the resources that it would need to do anything. But it think of it, you know, on your Synology, you're installing this inside of a, a Linux box a linux mm -hmm. box because synology runs linux at its core so this would be a linux docker essentially that you'd be running and it would uh sort of operate and inherit some things from the os but lightweight low memory usage low cpu usage and like a vm often you will have a folder that your docker can see that is also able to be seen from outside the docker and that i presume with this icloud pd is where you would be saving or it would be saving your photos so that you could then go touch those and do whatever you want to them from uh, hopefully just read them. Cause if it's syncing them down, you don't want to be deleting them from there, but right. maybe you do. I don't know, but yeah. So Docker lightweight virtual machine, that is wholly incorrect, but it's a good way to think about it. And as soon as you said the words virtual machine, I remembered we have talked about it. So yeah. don't get old. It's bad for your memory. 